And the ribs come out of the forming block and after being <coughs> fluted here, or well, flanged for the uh, lightning holes, they're nowhere near flat. So, two tools to flatten them out. This one here, I can go through and straighten up this side because it won't come off the form block at a 90 degree. This angle here is 17 and a half degrees and that gets really close to making it a 90 when it's done. The other one is I made the same tool only with a straight face and it has a half inch or a quarter inch dowel in there to change the fluid. If you use fluting pliers, I like this better. flat and straight. It doesn't take very long, maybe five minutes per rib to straighten it all out. When I first start with a rib, I like to get rid of some of this bow. And the best way to get rid of that bow is a little tool like this to adjust this um, flange on the lightning hole. And you just pull up and work your way around. And pretty quickly, It'll start laying down flat. I don't try to get it perfect right now. I'm just trying to get it a little flatter so I can work on the outside edges without having all that bow interfering. That's good enough to get going with checking for square on the edge here. So now I'll go through and work on the flutes and the edge flanges. So I haven't done much and it's already starting to lay down, but you see it's got a big bow. Well, if it's bowed this way, then bending this material will make it sit down. So we'll take it down here. I usually check it on the edge of the workbench, but it's pretty obvious. And you'll learn that it's always the same ones that need adjusted. Out near the nose, where there's more of a, a change in, in the radius of the, of the nose. Look at that, it's almost flat. So all that's left is a little fiddling around and this one will be done. <laughs> 